guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be a Sunday chit chat Q&A video. If you are new to this channel, pretty much on Sundays, I read through any comments, uh, emails, DMs, text messages, and I choose one topic to go over and elaborate on. So the topic today is going to be the importance of obtaining a PO box for your business. So if you are interested, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So you guys, I have gotten a lot of questions in regards to obtaining a PO box for your business. Um, a lot of you guys drop ship with me. So you do know that when you sign up for drop shipping, uh, one of the recommendations is that you obtain a PO box. And I'm going to go over why I recommend doing that. So when you sign up for uh, drop shipping, for those of you that aren't too familiar with drop shipping, pretty much I offer drop shipping as an option through my website, which is badshakehair.com. Um, I sell hair extensions and different branding options. Now, for people that sign up for drop shipping, I send out the hair on behalf of their company. And so it's a, a cost effective way to start your hair business without purchasing inventory in bulk. Um, I do have women that drop ship as well as do uh, wholesale. It just depends on what works best for your business and your budget at the time. And so, um, you know, with drop shipping, the whole pro point behind drop shipping is bad check hair sends out the hair to your clients on your company's behalf. So when your client receives their package, they're going to see your information listed on that package. And so in order for me to leave your information, I need an address. I need your business name and I need your business address. I don't recommend using your personal address. I've mentioned this in prior videos just for safety reasons and professionalism. It looks more professional if you have a PO box or if you actually have a physical business location versus you're using your home address. And it's more safe because although we are, you know, we feel close to our customers, you still don't know everyone that's going to order from you. And so it's just another safety measure. Now, the next reason that I recommend uh, having a PO box is because of returns depending on what you offer a customer may need to send something back to you or say you know a customer isn't even sending their hair back say say um something happens with the mill and the mill needs to send the item back to the return sender at that point you'll have an address you'll have a, a physical place where the where usps can actually go and uh re deliver the mail so that you can ship it back out now that being said I've had mail delivered to my business, physical business address. And if no one was there to sign for it, then it would just go back to like their holding station. And it takes a long time with, you know, the post office. In my experience, once the mail gets, you know, sent to the customer, sent back to you and sent to the, the holding place, there are some steps that you have to do to get that mail. And so it takes time. And so to kind of avoid all of that, having a PO box just gives you a one stop place so that even if you aren't there to physically sign, you can still have your packages left there if you let your post office know. Um, or, you know, sometimes all you have to do is even write a note and leave it inside of your P.O. box. So that's another reason why I recommend obtaining a P.O. box. Another reason is a lot of websites require you to put in an address. And so if you don't have a business address, you're going to, you know, most likely put in your home address and that's going to be visible to your customers. So again, I, I would always want to make sure that I'm being safe online because you don't know everyone. And, you know, making sure that I have a business address or a P.O. box so that customers aren't having my personal information. Even if the address isn't required in the initial setup for your website, it looks better to have your contact information on your website, um, such as your business name, your business location, the phone number. Because like I've mentioned before, when someone's ordering from you online, there has to be some kind of level of trust. And especially if you're a new business and there's not too many reviews and you don't have uh, too many likes on your business Facebook and you're not really established. So when they type in your business name, you're not really popping up. Um, say your SEO isn't really, you know, structured right. And that's search engine optimization. So say, you know, you're, you're just getting started and people really don't know too much about your company. Seeing that you have a address for them to reach out to, that you have a phone number, that you have an email address, something, some kind of contact makes it makes a lot of customers feel a lot more comfortable and safer placing orders on your website because although we're you know we want to protect ourselves too our customers are wanting to protect themselves so they're wanting to make sure they're not getting scammed they're wanting to make sure that this is a legitimate website and most legitimate companies have a place of a point of contact you know they have an address where you can reach out if you need to and so that's another reason why i recommend obtaining a p.o box 
Um, the last reason I'm going to go over is if you want to send something to your customer. So I kind of went over this, but you know, I remember last year I wanted to send out personalized Christmas cards. Um, when I say personalized, I actually wrote, um, inside of the cards and I addressed the envelopes. You know, I did everything myself. I sent cards out to all of my customers that year because I really wanted to do something that was thoughtful. And I'm not saying that anything else, you know, I, I could have definitely printed some cards or had some cards made and it still would have been thoughtful, but I really wanted to take time and actually write out on these cards. And so to do that, I had to have an address just in case the card was redelivered. And so, like I said before, it's not just having a PO box just in case a customer is wanting to return something to you or even just for the safety, but it's also if you're sending something out to your customer, first thing that they're going to see is your information. And um, for me, like I said, I just it, it just looks so much better having a P.O. box or a physical business location addressed on those envelopes. And so, you guys, I'm going to quickly go over how you can obtain a P.O. box. So you can obtain a P.O. box through the post office. I believe you can also go online to USPS.com and obtain a post, uh, P.O. box. I've gotten questions as to what size would I recommend you get. I personally have the smallest size. Why is that? Because, I mean, hair, typically those packages that I send the hair out in, you can fold them up. And if I do have a package that cannot fit inside of my P.O. box, the post office will hold it for me. Um, and so, you know, I've never had any trouble with obtaining or with, you know, working with the smallest P.O. box. For a P.O. box, um, I believe you have an option to either pay for it up to a year. Uh, you can pay every quarter and I believe you can pay every six months. Um, so whatever works best for you, I definitely think it's worth the investment. Remember, when you're going into business, you don't want to always look for the cheapest way. I'm going to make a video about that, too. But, you know, I'm very cost effective. I'm going to always tell you guys, um, you know, my experience and how I was able to save money or if I find any deals or, you know, sales, I'm going to always go over that with you. However, I'm also going to stress that I'm not someone that's going to say just always go with your cheapest option. Cheapest does not mean that it's the best. And, you know, sometimes we don't want to spend money. I mean, who really wants to spend money? Nobody. But when you go into a business, you have to realize that there are going to be investments that you are going to have to do to promote yourself and to also make your business look a lot more professional and to build um, trust with your customers and also to protect yourself. And so, um, you know, we have to think differently when we're going into the business world. We can't just assume that, OK, I'm just going to put my home address on these packages because everyone that's ordering from me knows me. You know, you'll be surprised once you start promoting your information, there's going to be people from all over that are going to see your information. And although we like to think everyone has good intentions, you know, everyone doesn't. And I'm not saying this to scare anyone. I'm just saying just be cautious. So I do have women that use their personal address and I have women that use P.O. boxes. At the end of the day, it's completely up to you. Um, I wouldn't say there's a right or a wrong and there's not a requirement for you to have a P.O. box in order to drop ship. It's just highly recommended for the reasons that I went over. All right, guys, and before we close out on this video, I have a feeling that a few people are going to question, you know, how will my customers know the difference between my personal address and my business address? Um, and I can sum that up with one word, and that word is Google. Um, a lot of times when people order from you or when they receive a package in their spare time, they like to do research on your company. They like to research where this package came from. It's, so it's not uncommon for customers to research your company or your address. And if you Google a certain address and it's your home, uh, Google will provide an image. Google may even provide the names of the people that own your home or, um, you know, different uh, other information that you may not want your customers to know. Uh, and also, everyone doesn't live in a house. So you have people that live in condos, people that live in apartments. And so, you know, an apartment number kind of gives it away as well that it's not a business address. Um, and so, you guys, this video is not telling you that it's mandatory or that your business has to have a P.O. box. It's just letting you know some of the reasons that I recommend obtaining a P.O. box and some of the reasons that, you know, may help your business uh, protect itself. And I'm not saying that your business is not safe if you use your home address. I don't want you guys to think that at all. Um, I'm simply just answering the questions that I received as far as why do I recommend a P.O. box and um, how do you go about obtaining a P.O. box? So I really hope that this helped, guys. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.